Guess what time it is? It's Adopt a Pet Show, and boy, do we have some doggies for you. We have puppies, we have adult dogs, we have small dogs, we have large dogs, we have medium dogs. We have dogs that don't get along with other dogs, but we have dogs that get along with other dogs. And we have so many, ow, so many events that we are going to be, I'm so excited when it cools down because we're everywhere. So I'm so excited to tell you about the events that are going around in Havasu that we are gonna be taking these dogs in our beautiful van to try to get, uh, to get them their new forever home. So we are going to sh tell you about our boy Anderson. Now, as you can see, Anderson loves people. Um, he just wants the tension, he wants the love, and watch this. What are we gonna do for this? Oh, he goes on treats. You want him to listen to you? Sit. Good boy, easy. Very, very soft. Now, Anderson, he is only five years old. Um, when he first came in, he had some ear issues, correct? He still does. Um, but he is getting a lot better. When you don't treat the ears, of course, it's gonna take a while for us to get those ears back into shape. But he has been treated, um, and he has been such an amazing boy, because let me tell you, cleaning those ears all the time, it can get raw, and it can really hurt these guys. So come on down. Anderson is only five years old and he just loves people. So come on down, ask a staff member to take him out and I can guarantee you're gonna fall right in love with him. Yes, he is. Good boy, show that beautiful face. You gotta meet Bindi. Bindi is a brindle boxer mix and <laughs> Tiffany, I can even introduce Tiffany. Tiffany's back. She's going to be um, helping us out with these doggies because you know what? It's She knows all these doggies are here and she's going to be telling uh, some of you about some of the doggies. But we have uh, Bindi here, a year old. Bindi was a stray. So she had no tags, nothing. So we have, this is where it's very, very important. When you have a stray or if you have a dog, it's very important to microchip your animal or put a name tag. There's even people that are putting marker, writing on marker on their collars, their phone number, which is very, very smart. Um, we are, I, I just can't believe how many strays we're getting and they're not being claimed. Uh, it, it's just, it's really, really bad. So please, if you wanna make sure that your animal gets back to you, please put some kind of identification. Microchips are the best because if the collars falls off, ooh, there's no way of us finding them. But if you do get a microchip, you need to keep it updated. Because if we call the microchip and company and they have your old information from two years ago and it's not current, it's the same thing where we don't know how to get a hold of you. So please come on down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue. We have this beautiful girl named Bindi. Look at that donkey ears. Donkey ears. Yeah, you got donkey ears. <laughs> she is a lovable, no, playful dog. Be perfect for your family. Oh, come you. on down and adopt her today. <laughs> and this is Darla. Darla is about two years old, and she is like a healer. They looked it, we looked it up, and it was a healer dingo mix, Carolina dingo. Mm -hmm. um, she needs to be the only animal. Uh, she gets very protective over people, loves the water, uh, travels very well. She's a good, good girl, but she is shy when you first meet her. So if you come up to her um, and you see a little growl, she needs to warm up when she uh she was adopted once before and when she was adopted um that's how we found out with the adopter uh that she wasn't good with other animals so we, she was fine with the cats but dogs absolutely not she likes to be the dominant one unfortunately mm -hmm. so if you'd like to come down and adopt this little girl please ask to take her out before you approach her because she does get protective over kennels like many dogs do back there. Um, but don't judge the animals on how they act out in front of the kennel because they're doing their job. They're protecting their area. But once you get them out, they turn into the most wonderful dog. 
Um, I also want to tell you about an event. We have an event coming up. It's the Rock event. Um, it is going to be over by, um, if you go to uh, Bank of America, right behind there, there's a building, and that's where the event is going to be at. It's going to be a donation and adoption event between 12 to 3, and it will be on the 19th. There'll be food, snacks. Um, we're going to have some booths set up. Uh, that way we can, we're going to try to take as many dogs that we can fit in that van to make this a huge adoption event. So come on down. Uh, we, if you want to volunteer, call Tiffany. Tiffany is right up front. You can call 928-855-5083, option two, and just ask for Tiffany. Not here, you can always leave a message, but if you want to volunteer and help these dogs get a home, come on down. So the Rock event is on the 21st between 12 and 3, or I'm sorry, on the 19th between 12 and 3. <laughs> Don't forget to come down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue and adopt this chub girl. She is ready to go home. Yes, good girl. Darla. And we have Peanut and Izzy. Peanut is five years old, a little chihuahua mix, and Izzy is 10 years old. You'd never know it by her energy. These little ones are in a kennel together, but they do not need to be adopted together. There was actually three of them when they first came in, when they were turned over. She's hilarious. Don't let 10 years old fool you, because let me tell you, it was the funniest <laughs> thing. We took her for a ride uh, going down the hallway. Um, and, sh and this little guy is just funny as can be. Yes, you are, you little chunk of monk. Uh, they, they're really good on the leash. They listen very well. She said, I love sit. my butt and my back each. Oh, yeah, look at that. Da, 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 da. And if they are still here, we are going to be taking them to our Paws and Pints event, which is on October 21st between 3 and 6. The Paws and Pint event is, or the, the it's going to be located at the Jeremy Juke, Juke joint, and it's going to be over by Del Taco in um, Del Taco and in an Burger. So if you want to come down and meet us, you can have a beer or have a drink of your choice. <laughs> come and adopt one of these Get babies. Them, if you can adopt, we welcome donations because we always can use donations like blankets and towels and uh, puppy food wet right now. We really need small bites. We really need, desperately need blankets and comforters right now. So if you have, it, and they don't have to be brand new, just no wires and no crocheted blankets because they can, their nails can get stuck in them. So please, if you want, just if you can't adopt, donate. So easy, help these animals out. You know, they're homeless animals that, they're strays, they're turnovers. And we try to make them as comfortable as possible being here at the Western Arizona Humane Society. So come on down, adopt Izzy and Peanut. These oh, little okay. ones, oh, get it, get it. Get a pig. These little ones are ready to go. Yeah, what is that, is that a toy? It's a toy. And this is Harley. Harley is a terrier mix, as you can see his hair right on the top, short hair on the bottom. And he's about five years old. Fine example, he was a stray. He's microchip. Microchip is not current on the information. So we were not able to get a hold of the owner. Um, simple things like that, and you can, and it's really hard because you would think people, the first thing they would do is call the police department or call the animal shelter. And there's a lot of people that just don't think about calling the uh, humane society or animal shelter. So once again, it's very, very important to um, register your microchips so we can be able to contact you, uh, especially when you're in Havsu because we have a lot of visitors. <coughs> so, but he is such a, look at, he is a sweet, sweet boy. We're trying to get him to gain some weight because he has lost quite a bit of weight. Yes, he has. Um, he is a sweet boy. He walks good on the uh, leash, he loves to play with people. I can't tell you if he gets along with other dogs because he is one of our new ones and he was a stray, so we're not yeah. sure. If you do have another dog, we ask you to do come down and so we can do a meet and greet. Now we have the London Bridge Parade coming up and it is going to be love 
piece and uh, have it, it's all about Havasu. So <coughs> we, they want a kind of a hippie kind of theme. We need volunteers. You do need to be experienced on walking dogs. We do have a lot of large dogs that are strong that, and we're gonna be walking down McCulloch. Now for those that can't walk these big dogs, you can always uh, be the pooper scooper because you know that's a big job at the yeah. when we're doing the parade. Oh. Yeah, most of the times, most of the dogs Sit. will pinch it because they don't know Sit. what's going on walking down McCulloch. But some of the times you will have a little accident. So if you are interested in helping out with the London Bridge Parade, please contact us at 928. 855-5083 or you can come on down and talk to Tiffany or myself at 2610 Sweetwater Avenue. It's a fun, fun event and we do, what we do is we want to show as many animals that we can off at the parade. That way everybody can see who needs to be adopted. So come on down, adopt this sweet boy Harley. Let's get him a home and say, I a good boy coming down and adopt me today. Yes. <laughs> and these two boys <laughs> are Baja and Yoda. Um, Boba. Boba. I keep saying Yoda. Or wait, no. It's Baja. Boba. Baja is another dog. Yes. So Boba and, and if you know Star Wars, then you know these guys. And Yoda. These two are the last out of the litter. They're lab mix. They're almost about seven months old because they came in when they were six months and they've been, um, they're now seven months old. Sweet little boys, but they are treats. big. So they are going to be big boys. Kids, perfect age for kids. Um, they are just love. They w love their treats. If you have, oh, can we sit? Sit. <laughs> As you can see, they need Stand. training. <laughs> Stand. <laughs> But these guys are the sweetest boys and they are ready to go. So make sure you come on down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue. Uh, where we are ready to go today. Uh, they are microchipped, they're neutered, uh, current on all vaccines and they want to go home. They do not have to go together though. Believe me, they are way too much to go together. So don't feel bad if you separate them because there's a lot of people are feeling bad. The reason why we have them in the same kennel is because we are really, really full. So come on down and adopt Boba and Yoda. Yoda. And they might be better off with older children. Because they're little, so little, big. Little, they're, they're gonna knock down. So come on down and adopt them today. Did you go? And this is Juju. Juju is five years old and she is a spade female lab mix, cattle hula mix they have her as. She does need to be the only dog, but if you take her for walks or anything, she doesn't charge after dogs or anything like that. She just needs to be the only dog inside of the home. So, I mean, we have taken her to events and the only time when I've ever seen her snap on another dog is when there's a dog that's constantly in her face. Uh, she's a really good girl. She was good with kids. She's a kid herself. She loves toys. Um, as you can tell, she does tricks for treats. Uh, amazing, amazing girl. Now we want to tell you, we have any, we are going to be joining the Big Horn Chili Cook-Off, which is going to be at the Havasu Riviera Marina, and it's going to be on November 4th. Now there's only very few volunteers I'm going to be taking. Uh, so if you want to sign up, I have a couple of spots left. Otherwise, uh, you do, it's a $25 fee to go inside of the, the event, but it's going to be so much fun. We do this every year. We always have a great success on adoptions. We Last year, we walked away with none. Yeah, they all no got puppies, adopted. No, nothing left. So it was, that is the best thing ever. We had donations to take back, but we had no animals to take back. So if you are interested in volunteering for our Big Horn Chili Cook-Off, please call either myself or Tiffany at 928-855-5083. And don't forget to push option two because that goes to the adoption center. So come down, Adopt Juju. Her adoption is completely sponsored. So you do not, all you have to do is pay for license and you have the most loving new forever dog. Oh my baby, you're my baby. 
So this is Spike. He is a nine-year-old neutered male chihuahua. Super sweet dude. Kind of nervous. But he says, I'm looking for my forever home. He sounds like a little piggy. <laughs> you huh. your, your, yeah, if you want someone with us, we have so many people that call that want small dogs. Well, here's a little small dog yep. and part pig. And he's, he's older, small. but yeah, that's he's, okay. But look at he, when you go to his kennel to get him, he flops over. Sweet dog with kids, I don't recommend, you know, cause that can be a little too much. He is nine years old, so he's almost to a senior. But just because they're at that age, to me, that's the best age because they're nice and calm. They listen to you instead of going through the terrible twos where they're like, yeah. <laughs> he just wants a place to chill. Absolutely. He needs a little old lady's lap to just relax and watch TV in. Yeah, you can yeah. see he is just a cuddle bug. Um, so come on down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue. You can also check out our Facebook page at Western Arizona Humane Society. And we have a wonderful website, uh, which you can go to at www.westernarizonahumane.org, all spelled out. Um, you can look at all the events that are coming up. You can also check out, you can donate, check out all the animals that are up for adoption. Everything is on our website, including this sweet little boy. So come and adopt Spike. He is ready to go. And this little snuggle bug needs a lap and a couch. Yes, he does. Oh. So this is Jet. He is almost three months old. He is a Chihuahua mix. I know you guys have been seeing us post pictures of his siblings getting adopted. He is the last of the litter. Um, he is looking for his forever home. He's probably going to be about medium size. I'd say maybe, maybe 20, 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Maybe because we don't know what he's mixed with. Super energetic, what? super sweet. Just wants, uh, he'd be really good with a family, a young family and that he can grow up with. He's a puppy. Oh yeah. Uh, remember with puppies, a lot of people when they take puppies home, they let them run the house. That is a big danger for these little puppies. Uh, there's a lot of people think crating is uh, not nice, but let me tell you the wired crates, it is, it's like a security for the dogs. Once you raise them on when you're gone, you put them in there, guess what? It helps you with not coming home to chewed furniture, chewed up remotes. Um, Shoes. A dog that <laughs> chews up electricity and they can get shocked. There's so many dangers when you let the puppies run loose. So when you crate, I mean, I think it's unhumane if you get a small crate, get a big crate. That way they have room for the, you know, to walk around. Um, I would never crate in more than four hours where you have to take it a break, but you can find all this information online. So if you decide to get a puppy, please look up all all the things that you need to do with training on the puppy before you jump in to adopt one. Because it is a lot of work. It is, especially all these kisses. So come and adopt this baby today. Mm, I love you. <laughs> you did so cute. And this is Baja. Baja, let me tell you, we just found out it has a very funny, it's like a Bark Allen one. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny and it was at the camera. She is about two years old and she also is a boxer mix, spayed female, current on vaccines. Um, she loves to play with her toys. She is a big time puppy. Yes, she is. She just wants to play, play, play. So if you want, a dog that is just such a love. And let me tell you, she has. <laughs> tell him. You tell, tell him. him. You tell him. She, her fur is so, so, mm -hmm. so soft. So we are going oh, to, thanks. if she is still here, we'll be taking her to Paws and Pints, which is going to be, let me get my cheat sheet. I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to be on October 21st, and it, it will be oh, between yeah. three and six. Don't forget, it's going to be a Jeremy's juke, juke joint, which is going to be, for some reason, that my, my mouth is not working. 
but it is right by Del Taco and right by uh, In-N-Out Burger. It is going to be Sick. a blast. They always have bands playing, we'll have other people. We'll be inside, so don't worry. But come down, have a drink, support the Humane Society, bring a donation, or even adopt a wonderful animal. So it's between <laughs> three and six, you tell them. Uh, three and six on Saturday, October 21st. Sick. And don't forget, she is still here. We'll bring this little chunky monkey because she's just ready to go. So come That's down, you adopted Baja. She's our little chunk of monk. She is ready to go to today. Oh, <laughs> so this is Peanut. He is 11 years young. He is still looking for his forever home. He was a surrender. Um, unfortunately, the housing situation, they couldn't keep him. Um, so he is looking for his new home. He was on medical. He did have some issues with his ears. There is, with his adoption, there is gonna be a follow-up with our vets that is included with his um, adoption. So if you're looking for a guy who just wants to cuddle and snuggle with you, this is it. Um, we don't have many small dogs, um, so come down and adopt them. Now remember, if you do have another dog that is at your home, we do recommend or we do require for you to bring um, the dogs in for a meet and greet or, or your children because we don't know some of the dogs if they're good with other animals or if they're good with children. So come on down and adopt Mr. Peanut. He is all by himself. He's not like the other Peanut. No. Good boy. And this is Tara. Tara has been here for quite a while because if you approach her kennel, she runs to the other side. We have quite a few dogs that are like that. Um, just because they run to the other side, they are. there's some dogs that are just scared. They don't understand why they're here. Um, it can be very loud in the surroundings, in the kennels, so they're terrified. But don't, you please don't judge on how they act in the kennels. When you get them out, the true, true dog will come out in them. Like Tara, she, look how loving she is. Um, she loves to be pet. She needs a more mellow house. Um, I don't re recommend wild kids. Or kids. Yeah, or kids at all. I don't want to recommend kids with myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> so she likes the more mellow home, quiet, um, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Because you know what, there's a lot of people out there that I know that just wants a couch potato dog that just wants to love them. Now we want, she's one uh, dog that we can't take to special events like Pints for Pets um, over at the Jeremy's Jukebox or the Chili, the uh, Bighorn Chili Cook-Off uh, over at the Riviera. We can't take her to those certain events only because the noise is so loud for them. But you can always, so if you want to donate, come down to 2610 Sweetwater Avenue at the Western Arizona Humane Society. The office hours are from 8 to 4.30 and the kennel hours for adoption is from 10 to 4. Now some of those days they are, they are closed for lunch between 1 and 2, but you come down and visit the animals or if you're interested in adopting, ask one of the employees to take him out or you can just donate because we do have a lot of needs. So come on down, adopt these animals, join us at the events. Now it's time to see the kitties. We're off to see the kitties and we will see you later. Bye for now. Bye guys. Say bye Tara. Bye Tara.